Let's get this party started. radiator before in this car so I know that it fits uh, I've had experience with it it's actually a little oversized for a Fox body but what I'm gonna do this time is I used to use the factory brackets I want to kind of spruce it up this time so I'll make a custom aluminum uh, plate probably bead roll it bend it a couple places and have a mount in the factory location and it'll actually kind of cover this up and smooth it up a little bit before I do that though, I want to show you something right here on the Fox bodies this whole piece is, is together. And you can tell if you look closely, so I've actually cut this in order to take this section out. I did that back when I used to drag race a lot. The engines had to come in and out. Um, it's actually a really good trick. All I did was put some flanges on the bottom and welded some bolts in there. And then you just take a nut, tighten it right up. When you need to take it out, take the nuts off. This whole piece comes out. It's almost like it unbolts. It's very useful if you're going to pull the motor and tranny out together because the old pan and the tranny itself can actually slide through this section without hitting this guard right here which is usually a hard the hard part about taking the engines out because you kinda gotta try to twist them and bring them out this way versus just sliding them right out the front so good trick, I'm gonna try it I get a lot of people that comment saying that I don't do enough instruction, I don't show you how I do certain things and the reason for that is when I started the channel I actually did a lot of instruction it was more of a how-to type stuff and um, this is boring I felt like you know it just wasn't that interesting I felt like people that would come they would search how to do something they would come to the channel they'd watch it then they would leave and never come back And so I didn't want that right I wanted the channel to grow I wanted to bring you guys in to my world and just show you guys what I do on a daily basis bring you back for the next video and not just a how-to but because I get that comment a lot, I'm going to show you how I do something. I'm going to show you the steps that I use in order to make this plate here that's going to hold the radiator on. Um, I see a lot of these. You can buy a lot of them. But, you know, some people just want to make custom stuff, and so I'm going to show you how I do it. First thing I do, I'm going to get the radiator in here. I got it mounted uh, temporarily in the position that I want it. And then I'm just going to take some basic measurements of the actual piece of aluminum that I'm going to need. So I'll just measure back. down over this lip okay so I want to mention something to you guys I get a lot uh, comments that basically say hey you know I'm not that good or I don't have those tools or so on and so forth and I kinda wanted to tell you look I don't even know what I'm doing half the time, right? I just figure it out. That's the key is just getting in there, doing it, and figuring it out as you go. Sometimes you mess up and you got to scrap it. Oh, well, that's life. Like, you do everything in life that way. Someone once said, perfection is the enemy of good. Meaning that if you, it has to be perfect all the time, then you'll never, you'll never get anything good out of it. You'll never do good. So you just got to kind of go, start, and in the end, you'll have something. If it's hard, then I 
know it's working. These sleepless nights, I know they're worth it. Cause I got a dream, I got a purpose. I got a purpose. I got a purpose. I can't be hate. Alright, so now I got the basic shape. I'm just gonna take some of this transfer paper. This is the kind of stuff that you'd use like for vinyl stickers. Uh, just gonna apply it to the top of this. It's gonna do two things. It's gonna allow me to protect the aluminum from scratches and, and so on and so forth. It's also gonna allow me to lay out my design on this piece of aluminum. Um, you know, with, with ink and it, it's a little bit better than just on the aluminum itself. So Alright, so got the transfer tape on. Now it's just time to lay out my bins and then I'm gonna lay out actually where I'm gonna bead roll it too. Still have no idea what I'm doing. If it's free, it won't be worth it. And if it's easy, I don't deserve it. I want it to last, so I gotta earn it. I gotta earn it. That's it for the bins. So that's the first bin that goes over the radiator. That's actually on top of the radiator there. This is going to be the second bin that goes down. And this will be the flange that the actual bolts bolt into. Now that I've got that done, I think I'm going to lay out some uh, designs for the bead roll. Maybe put something in here, some little pockets or something, just to kind of make it look not so plain. And it'll probably strengthen a little bit too. So. There it is. That's how I'm gonna bead roll it. Hopefully it looks all right. First thing I gotta do though is I gotta bead roll because once the bends are in there, I won't be able to get it in the roller. So I'm gonna go ahead and bead roll these out and then uh, I'll just break it on these lines. May end up having to shear off a little bit off the edge too. We'll have to see. Okay, so now the two panels are rolled in there. And they're not they're not very deep. I didn't really you know screw the, the bead roller down real real tight. Didn't really need a whole lot. Just wanted to kind of add some rigidity and give it a little bit of flair to it. Make it look a little bit better. So now all we gotta do is um, just bend these edges without ruining the panel. Alright guys, that's it for this week. Thanks for joining me, as always. Making progress. Hopefully I have this thing done soon. 
Next week, gonna finish up the brackets, probably get the alternator mounted. Can use that carbon fiber plate that I made a while back in a video to finish up the brackets. So uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you guys Friday. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering what's up with this thing, you can check it out right here. I got a purpose, I got a purpose, I got a purpose.